Well, looks like things are looking up for Macedonia. What once was a city-state in decline after the death of Alexander the Great is now starting to come to its own. I mean, we're only on part three and already Epirus is subjugated. Athens is our client state. Sparta is, you know, being the arrogant prick that it usually always is. Uh, but that's our next target. We got an army about to take secure another province in Thrace. And I think everything's going pretty well for me so far. Knossos, I have no idea what this guy's deal is. Never in any of the games I've played in Rome Total War have I ever seen Knossos declare war on anybody or even attempt to leave its island. But, you know, whatever. There's a, there's a first time for everything. So, Epirus belongs to us. We have this army growing in, uh, into some of its uh, more specialized troops here. Uh, we have an army up in Anthea, Anthea yeah, ready to uh, defeat Tyrus there. Let's see, we can go ahead and get to the Pella here. And I'm probably going to change this. Uh, I can't yet. But we're going to have to start to create our fleet because after we subjugate Sparta, we're going to go ahead and uh, eliminate Knossos. And then we'll, well, well it's going to be like a, what's that word? Multitasking. We're going to deal with Thrace as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into another battle, because that's what we like, right? Total war, total war. Let's do it. We're dealing with a decent little army here, but I think we have a good chance of beating these people down, so let's get to work. Time to put these Thracians under our thumb, expand our territory, build up some farms, feed our people, get some new camps so we can get some more missile troops. Should be good. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. Here's our Greek force, Macedonia. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. I'm thinking a two-pronged attack here and here. Let's secure the victory point. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, two of our pikemen. And we're going to take the, side, the front here. And then two of our levy pikemen. And we'll take the other front here. We'll go ahead and take our hoplites and rush the side here. And we'll take our cavalry and we will rush this side here. Bam. All right. Go ahead and start a battle. Any uh, words of courage from our general? Maybe? When we take this place, it will be a heavy blow to our enemies and their ambitions. The glory and loot we gain are just added delights. Once we are within the walls, well do armed. as you will. Not wearing the now, linen tracks that arms. are usually worn by the Macedonian troops. Well, no, let's go for These guys are a lot more traditional over here. Traditional Greek armor for sure. There we go. Linen tracks, which is uh, basically a composite armor, about as supposedly the same strength as Kevlar, and uh, basically made out of linen, linen and lacquer, heavily lacquered linen. That's that's kind of a uh, tongue twister, right? Heavily lacquered linen. Yeah, five times fast. All right. Of the people. Go ahead and get my. Oh shit! I forgot we had people from behind. Good thing I left a troop back here. Ah. Ah. What are you doing? Do that. Do that. Go ahead and uh, go over here. At speed. Reinforcements. <laughs> Triple 
you're probably wondering why the people in the back have their pipes up like that. It's actually to deflect Our the arrows. Is under attack. Just learned that today. So, there's something new for you guys. These guys are doing the poking, and these guys were just sticking their things up to block arrows. Kind of like how in Shogun you have the generals with little balloons on their backs that do pretty much serve the same purpose, deflect arrows. The enemy general is dead. Although, in my opinion, I think it's making a big target. You know, aims with a big giant red balloon. Oh, horses, yes. Horses. Uh, as they grow, you get to recruit their troops. So that's really cool. If you're in their province, if your general's in their province. Which I think is really neat. Uh, uh, what are you running from? Come back here. Two arms ready. Amisos! Oh, it's because they have horses. What is this? Don't they try them? They're fine. Citizen cavalry! Let's go. These noble horses, by the way, are still super tough. When I was uh, when I was playing as barbarian tribes in the DLC, I was dealing some serious damage. These things could take on anything almost. They were impossibly hard to kill. But they're the still enemy not general compared to is pipes. dead. Yeah, 
and we're done. That should be the end of Tillis as a nation, unless they have some boats floating around. So. General and tactician. Tactician allows you to allow, uh, gives you the rally, uh, the rally ability. In general, it just gives you some really good bonuses with your troops. Uh, you may, if we need it, in a completely controlled province. Oh, that's right. I do own this whole thing, don't I? Awesome. Let's go with commercial simulation. Doesn't hurt. So until this doesn't be still exist, and they have to have a pretty large navy here. I can't wait. Alright. But at least I secured my entrance into Asia, so that's good. Who we built? Slave trader, Hellenistic village, farm. Alright, got a new edict. Got some training done. Very nice. Alright, let's see here. At your command. For the gods! Okay. Forgot I have to fight in the field in order to uh, get that uh, achievement where you fight every single battle in the game without auto resolving. And you get another achievement for winning every single one. And so far, I don't think I've lost, so let's hope we can keep that up. Uh, I don't want to I want to be able to see my bat, my enemies. There we go. I think we're just going to run them down with horses. That's probably the smart thing to do. I think we can. We should be able to do it, right? All right. Let's do that. Fast. There we go. Are these chosen infantry? Man. Alright. Let's go ahead and take out these guys. That was quick. Alright. Uh, they don't even wanna they don't even wanna jump in and help their little archer buddies. Stick them. Like this. None alive. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Riders here. and the double. Citizen and cavalry over here. Warm up. Riders at the double. And charge. Swift melee cavalry. Okay. And charge. <laughs> Ah, I guess it didn't. I think it's burning. Oh, let's do it again. 
Let's see if we can do it then. Orders for orders! As you command! Yes, Commander! Free free. That's your service! Send him in. Charge! Citizen Cavalry! The thing about Alexander's army was that his cavalry were the, they were the real battle winners of the army. Uh, the pike phalanxes were really good at moving to uh, positioning the enemy in the right spots and poking in holes, but the cavalry was Alexander's main fighting force. Uh, and he usually led the cavalry himself, and he was really, really, really good at using the right So really, pretty much this entire let's play is going to probably be focused Citizen on cavalry, cavalry. Tactics and how to use cavalry effectively. Which is pretty cool because that's the first, I've never really used cavalry that much in any of the Total War games that I've ever, like in any of the Total War games. So it's kind of cool that I'm trying this little challenge, trying to follow in Alexander's footsteps because I don't, I haven't really traditionally ever really used a lot of cavalry. In fact, most of my army makeup Citizen was uh, less about cavalry and more, you know, I would usually have three cavalry, mostly just to run down the baggage when they're running away. I'm gonna get tired. But, um, so it's really good that I get to explore a new tactic, a new way of fighting. Or, taking out my enemies. I wouldn't say they're really bad guys, I mean, they're just enemies. Are they really swords? Is that one that was a sword? Now, you're probably wondering why I put the diamond formation. The diamond formation was actually one of Alexander's favorite formations to use against enemies. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up to see. I suppose how it works is it, 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 kind, of, it kind of forces the enemy uh, line to just kind of split, and that allows the uh, that allows the forces to overwhelm. So it kind of it forces the charge. Because, you know, cavalry isn't really that effective uh, for charging. Uh, the way, the reason why it's so effective uh, is because people are afraid of a wild beast charging at them. Not because horses are just immune to weapons and aren't, they're actually very fragile creatures, but it was mostly just the, uh, the effectiveness of, of, the, of the intimidation. So when you made the diamond formation and they were running at a, a, a line of troops, it would just, it would kind of force them to push it away and, and, and divide because they didn't want to be trampled. And then that split them up and they were no longer had unit cohesion. And then you could just poke them with swords and stomp on them with hooves and do all the cool stuff that you want to do. But yeah, so. Gained some new levels for cavalry. Took out these people here and uh, should still have enough action points to go back. And uh, protect from that fleet. Uh, then the gonna be coming. So let's go ahead and build myself a dock and a temple and a temple. Because I don't want a temple. All right, and then over here on this side, let's see what we can do. Nothing. All right, we can go ahead and build up our force because we will be heading to the Spartan somehow. These guys are never gonna have no way. Maybe I should get out of their way. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get, let's see, we have one of that, one of that. I want to replace my levees with actual pikemen there. All right, let's see how we do. They, yeah, these two are mine. Uh, okay. So, Epirus doesn't exist anymore, apparently. I didn't know they were a whore. Uh, uh oh, I might not be able to get my, uh, I might not be able to get my achievement now for subjugating, oh well. Well, maybe, maybe still.
Now you have time and to talk about my on people me. with your usual lack of wit before death. Really? Really, Athens? You won't help me against Sparta? I see how it is. You've recruited an agent. All right, let's see what we got here. Now they're no longer my client. That kind of freaking sucks. So we're probably going to have to resubjugate them now. Ready for uh, let's get to the road here. Haste, Your next command. We'll get some tactics to improve our people. Ready and then I will grow my little army here with. Let's see, so we got good. We got a good amount of pipe. Let's get some horses in here. Are you ready to serve? Jesus, I have no money. <laughs> All right. My other target for Thrace is going to be Navasos. Ah, shit. All right. Next turn, I have to build a muster field so I can get some better troops there. Ah, we're third game. Awesome. Right, let's see what Sparta's up to. Now, the only time I've ever fought Sparta, uh, I call now for you thing. to take to arms against these I human wolves. Right Keep now. your warriors leave to fight. Uh, it was when they revolted against me when I had a civil war and I was fighting the the cool looking Sparta with the black with the black banner and the red. You know, which I thought was the traditional Spartan symbol, or Spartan banner, was black with the red chevron, but I guess that's just the Civil War Sparta. And uh, that was rough. As that clouds gather, a long wise time. men look no, for I'm friends to you. Calm down. There's someone still there in my territory somewhere. I'm going to have to root him out with my spy. Let's get my spy going. Uh, bye. Get over here. Where did they say they did it? Okay, not you. Sabotage into Mandra. I seek. Hello. Diversion. There's a spy in here somewhere. How can I serve you? Let's go ahead and rank up my troops here. The must field. Here's my kingdom. See, in order to pay for the upkeep of temples, the high priestess intends to introduce a temple tax. Work together. With a little careful negotiation, perhaps some of this money could find its way into our coffers. Who are we to try? Uh, let's do it. Let her do it. Alright, that works. No corruption. No corruption. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got our two, three, four cavalry. We've got a pretty good thing here. Two of these. Let's get some more flankers. Uh, one of those, and one of those. Alright. And then we'll move into Sparta. Hopefully we'll be able to get one last battle in before we end this three-part session. And uh, maybe we'll get such games going. That'd be sweet. I guess I don't want to take them lightly. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be really disappointed if I get there and there's like no army. And they're just really just wasting my time. But we'll see. It's always good to be prepared. Especially when it comes to Sparta. Because even one hoplite is enough to really mess up your day. These Spartans. Their morale is ridiculous. Alright, sabotage again from a guy I can't find. Alright, you need to find this spot. As you command. Can I be a assistant? Alright. We need to go quartermaster report. Alright. Faction joins the war. Pergamon versus Tillis. Oh, that's good, that's nice. Uh, construction report. We've got a harbor. Let's go ahead and go in here and see how we're dealing with. Should be able to go. Oh shh! Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do. <laughs> we need to go. Oh shit! 
We cannot uh, follow this order. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be disappointed. Uh, that's fortified. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's, that's going to be fun. Okay, uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can, uh, buy some mercenaries to flesh out our, we our ranks here. Because we are, we are very, very outnumbered. Three of spears. They were in there before, weren't they? Carrington Cavalry, Mercenary, Veteran, Hoplites. Alright, let's get some veterans. And, uh, ooh, I'm creating archers. Oh, yeah. Alright, and. Yeah, let's just get. Yeah, that works. Okay. Alright, yeah! Mercenaries! Good for your body. Okay. Now. Let's see how this fight goes, huh? Spider, Sparta attacks. I really don't want to be. What's going on in Egypt? Oh no, really? I'm gonna have to break that alliance. I'm not ready to. Uh, I'm not ready to go against Athens yet. Oh, More people. Oh, this is gonna be rough. All right, guys, here we are. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. What are we up against? A lot of infantry. They don't have a lot of hoplites, actually. Uh, yeah, these, these guys look uh, looking pretty mean. And uh, then, oh, a lot of spears. Okay, well, let's let's see how it goes. This might be a dev this might be our first devastating defeat. But I mean, it's Sparta. What do you expect? What do you expect of Sparta? All right. I think it's going to be one of the most exciting battles. Actually, this is going to be the most exciting battle out of the three episodes. Let's see how the next three episodes go. Alright, I have some deployables. What do I have? Uh, barricades, caltrops, brimstone picks. That sounds fun. Let's put some brimstone pits down. How do I put them down? That. No. Uh, that. Yeah, okay. Brimstone pit. Caltrops for cavalry. Uh, here. And here. Alright. Oops, alright, we're done with that. Go to the army. I don't really want any barricades. I'm not really much for barricades. Alright, let's see here. We'll get some Pike pikemen man! to block this entrance. Pike pikemen! We'll get pikemen to block this entrance. Pike pikemen! Form phalanx! And we'll get a pikeman. Pikeman! I'll get this pike from this. Pike. Right, going out here. Pike I'm going to go here. And... Pike okay. pike. Right. Let's go ahead and pike build up... Kind of, uh... Another army over here. Hoplites ready! At your service. Uh, we'll get our cavalry. cavalry over here. General. General. Well, like Alexander, you gotta lead from the front, right? So we'll get him out here too. Alright. Going a little over time, but let's see how this goes. We might win, we might lose. Let's start this battle. Words of encouragement. Here we stand. We will defend our people and our lands to the last breath. By all the gods, my sword will fall from my cold, dead hand before I retreat. Make the same oath. Be courageous. Hey! Oh, shit. 
<laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, it's not gonna work for us. Okay. We're gonna need to rebuild this thing. Citizen Commander. Oh, I hope one can hear those cats. <laughs> Let's see. We'll get them over here. Riders, advance! Turn you here like that. Advance at speed! Get these guys. Pop glitches! Over here. Double time! Let's see if we can't thin down some numbers, right? Pikes are ready! Fall in the brimstone pits. Yeah, brimstone pits. Oh, am I supposed to set those on fire? I bet I'm going to set those on fire. Do it! Do it! Reload with haste. That makes sense, right? Come on, shoot at it! <laughs> really? Really? You you can shoot all the way over there, but now you can't shoot. Okay, that's that's retarded. That is a stupid thing I was gonna Alright, whatever. Attack! <laughs> sons of Macadon! Fire! Whatever. Do whatever you want. Ah, shit, they're coming from the side. They're coming from the side! For glory! Commander! Advance at speed! Really? 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 
catch them. These guys are still here. So I'm telling you, man, the morale on Spartans are ridiculous. They will keep fighting pretty much to the last man. You are still. Come on. Come on. Come on. But see, the Spartans aren't really known for using a lot of cavalry, so this is a lot. This is really weird. They don't usually fight on horseback. Alright. Orders 
misunderstood. Warm up. Advance I'll be able to charge into this flank. Pretty damn good, even though they're losing decisively. I'm probably not killing anybody though, they're probably just dying. That happens. Really? They have. They can throw their spears? Ridiculous. 
bomb in general is gonna die. There's too many. Too much shit going on. Let's see if we can get back into the thing. Our general is exhausted. He's useless out there. Pull back. It's all up to these guys.
The enemy general is Oh, dead. we killed him. We killed the enemy general. That's gonna help. General! Quickly, no! Never surrender! Victoria, lead us! Orders understood! The enemy general is dead. Kill the other general. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Get over there. Might be able to pull this off now. We killed two other generals? Three other generals, maybe? Two other generals. Get in there. Ladies, take our enemies! My other cavalry. Oh, okay. Damn it! 
Fucking archers. Pretty good stand though. For the amount of Spartans they sent after me, holy crap. Still a lot of them too. Oh man. Why? Oh. Okay. Withdraw! <laughs> tell the friend, I tell you, tell everyone else the Spartans are coming. They got a lot of troops. That was 30 minutes in and of itself. Holy crap. Everybody died, except for one Helot Javelin. Or they're not Helots, just Javelin. I did kill a shit ton of Spartans, though. Holy crap. put much of a dent in their army though. You can do a lot with that. Alright. Let's see if I Hold Oh back. yeah, I run away. Destination reach. Watch them follow me though. Yep, that's the end. And of course I have to fight for the achievement, so let's see if I can Oh there's only three of them I can probably win. quickly as possible. Holy oh, crap, they don't look as weak as I thought they might be. No running, just firing at them. No point in hiding, they know where I am. Whiting it out so they can actually, uh, Our general is under attack. All right, get victory, get victory. Get victory. Get victory. Their name ones too, which means they're gonna be impossible. Move at the devil! A quick march! Break off! Run away! He's dead. No joke. 
go. And they just activated killing spree. No, uh, it's a rush. Crap. Run. Don't run. Run. Run away. Oh, you couldn't beat those last guys. Run to that. Yeah, there's no way. There's just no way you can walk this hard. They're always fun. Really? All right. Well, I'm gonna quick save it there, and uh, in the next episode, we'll see how I fare, which means I'll probably get my butt kicked because this looks pretty ridiculous. But thanks for watching. This was uh, the third part of our three-part series for today. Uh, as you can see, Sparta is doing a really good job of making me angry. So uh, come back and join us next time. We'll continue our little attempt to subjugate Greece and then move on east. And we'll see how that goes. So thank you again, and uh, we will see you next time.